The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children assisted law enforcement with 98 cases of non-family abductions in 2022, with 95 of them being resolved. All of these reported cases of kidnapping happened in the real world, which years ago might have been an odd thing to note. But these days, it's a necessary differentiator, especially when it comes to cases such as the recent reported kidnapping of a 17-year-old foreign exchange student in Utah. Authorities say it turned out the teen was a victim of a scheme known as cyber kidnapping, just one of several cases the FBI has been investigating in the United States. In a statement to Straight Arrow News, the FBI says cyber kidnapping, or virtual kidnapping, refers to a range of coercion schemes aimed at extorting quick ransom payments from victims who are manipulated to believe that their loved ones have been kidnapped or are at risk of being kidnapped. The FBI says unlike in traditional kidnappings, these virtual criminals do not actually kidnap anyone. In the case of the foreign exchange student named Kai, police say the cyber kidnappers contacted his parents living in China to make them believe their son who had gone missing in Utah was abducted. We learned that uh, they had received a photograph from Kai from his phone and it was a uh, photograph where it made it appear as if he was being kidnapped or held captive. Uh, after that, they subsequently started receiving phone calls from the alleged kidnapper demanding a ransom. The FBI says victims are pressured by the suspects to take images of themselves, appearing to be kidnapped to protect their families from harm. The student's parents sent approximately $80,000 to the kidnappers. According to the FBI, the average ransom payment for virtual kidnapping cases in 2022 was over $11,000. The FBI's statement to Straight Arrow News continuing, in a virtual kidnapping for ransom, there are multiple victims. The person or people who are being coerced over the phone to pay a ransom, as well as the alleged kidnapped victim who is separately coerced and unwittingly facilitates. The perpetrator scheme by turning off their phones, refusing to contact family or law enforcement, agreeing to take photos of themselves or other victims, or not leaving their location. Police soon discover the teen who had been seen days earlier before he was reported missing with camping gear. Police say he was being manipulated by the kidnappers at the time. Search teams, complete with drones, set out to look for the teen. An officer came across him set up in a tent on a wooded area on the mountainside. Police say he was cold, scared, and relieved to see them. Uh, the reason why the, the question is, is well, why was, why was Kai camping? Why would he isolate himself? Well, that is exactly the reason. The, the captors want him to isolate himself from all society because they know there's a high probability that police or law enforcement will be contacted. And once we contact Kai, we know he's safe, the game is up. The parents will know he's safe, so they won't send any more money. The FBI tells Straight Arrow News that they continue to see the threat of cyber kidnapping affect American citizens. They say if anyone feels they are a victim, to discontinue communication with the suspects and contact law enforcement immediately.